Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Capricorn. If Capricorn is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. And so our card tonight is... The Knight of Cups. Let's go ahead and see what these tea leaves have to say. And if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. Let's see. What do we have going on here tonight? Okay. All right, so I am seeing a face. I'm seeing two faces, actually. We have eyes, a nose, a mouth, and here we also have a face. Eyes, nose, mouth. <coughs> Excuse me. That one has been trying to work its way out for a minute there. Okay. So this one kind of... <laughs> if anybody's ever watched um, or read Akira, it reminds me of the um, Akira manga. <laughs> Okay, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have some birds. Now let's talk about these faces. Ooh, is that another one? We have one right in the middle. Right here, eyes, nose, mouth. So we have some, we have a fair amount of faces coming through. Okay, now this one looks pretty happy. I would say even excited. This one, not so much. Um, and the one in the middle, maybe, maybe a little angry, I would say. Um, but I do, I feel like we are really going through some emotional shifts and I also see we have a spiral right here okay so I really do and that's the eye of this larger face so I do feel and this I mean listen we have the knight of cups this is an emotional card emotional being um the I think of the cup as being the vessel of those uh, you know, emotional waters is that, uh, that stuff that brings life to all things. We must have those emotional waters, those creative waters, so that anything may grow in our life and our psyche and our spirit and so on. Um, and so the night is kind of, in my um, estimation anyways, one that has learned to bear that vessel, okay, to hold it, to care for it, to honor it. Um, have they mastered their emotions? Maybe not, you know, not all the way, but they know how to use them. They know how to navigate them to some degree. They're interested in this. This is not something that they repress or steer away from. So a very emotional being, all in all. And I feel that, um, you know, this is a time of kind of rotating feelings, impressions, impulses, desires, okay? Um, I feel you kind of excited about somebody or something that is happening. Okay, um, I feel that there are times where you get very lost in thinking about this. 
um, you're, you know, you're working, you're working away, you're doing your thing, and you find yourself drifting into this thinking, daydreaming. I almost imagine this like a crush or, you know, some kind of um, just uh, beloved, right? Right on that. And I, it feels new, though, to some degree. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's you're one of those lucky people that have love that um, stays very interesting and exciting. And, um, you know, you are very taken by this love. Um, and that could last for years and years and years, right? But I do think that there is just this feeling of being completely enthralled at times, okay? Um, and now, I'm going to look up here. I was looking at... Now, it looks like people kind of pointing. And then I look up here, and we have... And the rim is the metaphysical zone. We have an angel, okay? And we have what looks like a person who is kind of... Um, meeting this angel hands their hands are reaching out to each other now we have people down here who I would imagine are kind of in the lower realms right um, looking and pointing up and I'm almost thinking like oh it's some kind of miracle um, you know some kind of like seeing some kind of um, you know, illuminated uh, vision, um, some kind of um, extraordinary, uh, you know, witnessing of something. And, you know, I really, I feel that when your heart is open, when your emotions are really um, active, alive, and you are um, kind of in that really you know, the, in the ocean of them, <laughs> in the, in the, the, uh, ebb and flow of that, of those emotions, um, allowing yourself to kind of be washed away in them. Um, not so far that it's destructive. Let me just say that. I don't think that's what it is, but when you are, when your heart is open, when your mind is open, when your soul is really, you know, activated in that way, um, I think that you're also very open to these uh, spiritual events. Okay, I think this is really um, in the, and I, I, I began to talk about that feeling of the beloved. Now, this doesn't have to be a beloved as far as the romantic relationship, but I think that you experience parts of the beloved in your relationships throughout your life, okay? And I think most people do. Um, I think you're really in touch with that. You maybe are a poet, <laughs> you know, um, a, a romantic, quite a romantic. Um, but I do think that when you are in these places of love, lust, desire, um, this is when you feel very attached, very, very actively attached to the divine. And I think you are. You're having dreams, visions. Um, experiences, they feel very profound. I see that guardian angel, that daemon, um, you know, whatever it is that you like to call it. And I think this is a time that there's important work for you. Um, and I think it comes easily when it feels like this. This is when you're very engaged with that interior world. Um, you're also really good at balancing your mundane life with all of this. You're not, you're not one to kind of lose track of yourself and get so far kind of, you know, um, ungrounded where your actual work, your physical world work, how you make your resources, um, keep your home, you know, domestic things and so on. You don't let that stuff go too far. I don't think you're somebody that, that just, you know, your life is in disarray. Um, but 
and I keep looking at this star down here, okay, and I see this, it really, um, I feel like in this time, there's going to be a lot of clarity about where you are going with this next cycle. The star is often, for me, the goal, right? We go outside, we stand out there at night, we look at the stars, we think about our lives, our existence, where we want to go, what are our dreams. Um, so this is that star, right? The distant goal that you have. And, uh, you know, I think that you are not somebody who is afraid to make, um, you know, big leaps and bounds towards whatever it is that you want to do. You're really good at meeting those goals. And so, um, you know, I just, I, my hope here for you is that you, um, when you are going through this beautiful period of time of love, agape, um, you know, the ecstatic love and desire that is kind of wrapped up into all that, that as you are making your, your goals, your plans in the mundane, um, but also spiritually, uh, that you really do honor um, how all of this feels right now. You know, they're not separate things. And I think that's where sometimes you, there is a bit of the disconnect. It's like, okay, so I have this work that I do in my waking life when I have to be a little more buttoned up. Come on. Hello, TT, my little baby. Um, you know, and then you have on the other side in your private, um, space in your sacred space, you have this interior world, this interior work to do. And those things, although they, you know, lend power to one another, um, I think sometimes, you know, you have two separate visions of how your life is. Um, and hopefully, you know, they run parallel to one another. Well, I think as this situation, um, as this, anyways, the circumstances of how things are right now um, play out, I hope that, um, you know, there's a little bit of courage in letting some of this stuff cross over. And what do I mean by that? Maybe finding um, ways to honor your spiritual life in your daily work. Okay. Um, do you need to be overt about it? No. I, like, no. I know there's a lot of workplaces where we don't talk about these things. You're not allowed to. Um, whatever. Uh, but, you know, I, things like doing your maybe daily affirmations, your prayers as you are going about your day, um, you know, taking little moments for gratitude, for service, so on, right? Making this part of your uh, your existence through and through, you know, as a more integrated and complete way of living. I think as we can get into this mode, um, there just really is uh, a beauty to life where we're not just saving it for, okay, when I get home, then I can you know, you take off my mask, <laughs> you know, take my hair down and um, be who I really am, you know. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Let me just say, there's nothing wrong with that. I've had plenty of work in my life where, um, no, I never talked about anything I thought about or cared about or whatever, um, just because it, it just wasn't, it didn't seem like a place that would be very receptive, right? Um, there just wasn't, uh, it was there wasn't the space for it. And I get that, 100%, I get it. Um, but I will tell you, as life has evolved for me, um, and I really became kind of, and let me just say, I am a ascendant Capricorn. So, you know, I'm right here with all of you. Um, but I will say as life has evolved for me and I have been lucky in that, um, I, you know, my work is what I love. Um, I found it impossible 
to live in a way where um, I couldn't just be what I was. And any, any given time, because I shift a lot. I'm a lot of different things. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, when we find a way to exist in this way, if it is quietly, if it is, you know, more loudly, um, if it is, you know, whatever that looks like for you. Um, but to be able to um, be in that space that throughout most of your day is important, I think. You know, to be comfortable with um, your, you know, I don't know. It just, when I, I think about, I go through my day, I'm cleaning toilets, I'm, you know, scrubbing floors, I'm going to the grocery store, and am I out there, um, you know, trying to minister to people or anything like that? No, obviously not, no. Um, I'm, I don't, I don't think that I know anything more than anybody else. Um, but to exist in the way that I am, to talk to people and hold people in the way that I do here in my readings and everywhere else in my life, um, it feels, it feels like a burden has, you know, been lifted off of me. Um, I just get to be, I just get to be, you know, and that is such a privilege it is, and I totally recognize that. But, you know, um, we all deserve to be able to be what we are, right? And if that changes, we can be the next thing and the next thing and the next thing, right? Um, so, anyways, I, you know, I see this as a really beautiful time. Um, and I, gosh, I just, I would love to know you know, what are you experiencing? I look at this and it just seems like um, this beautiful vision and being taken by it, really thinking like, oh my gosh, you know, this was the thing. I, I wake up and in the morning it's like uh, I've been visited, you know. I know that I have. I was shown something so important. I feel something so important. I know that... Everywhere I walk in this world, I am not alone. You know, that I'm, I am surrounded by my ancestors, by um, these divine entities, by, um, you know, the uh, thought forms that I create. And, uh, and so um, this is the most miraculous thing. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay, let's see. What do we have going on over here? I see. <laughs> I see old oh, dog's head or a wolf. We have a, I would say, is the moon up here. And I see it kind of howling away. Um, and we have a butterfly as well. So there is really the sense of evolution, metamorphosis. Uh, really a change sometimes and I think the, oh, this almost says like um, two two-sided the wolf the dog the canine um, it's it's relationship with that lunar energy that oh, beloved um, devotion just devotion almost to a madness right? It cannot be untangled. There's a bond that is formed there, unbreakable. At the same time, I look at it and I think, oh, it's kind of like the werewolf, right? The moon hits that person and they are changed, you know? It is out of their control. It is so quick um, and it is, you know, it's a primal, primal thing and, um, and so I do. I see that there is this transformation, um, and it sometimes it feels like it is. It's uh, it is something that um, overtakes you, right? Something that is so visceral, um, and I think that in these moments, um, and this maybe is. Uh, a little bit of um, resonance of maybe Western Hermeticism or, you know, um, the high magic, ceremonial magic. But in these moments of this kind of ecstatic 
enrapturing energy, this, you know, um, desire, love, agape, as we talked about before, um, to really notice what is going on there. What are you feeling? What are you seeing? What are your sensations? What are you smelling? What colors are coming through? What symbols? And keeping track of it where you can, writing it down. So important. There are things that will not make sense to you. You will think, I don't even know what the heck that was. Um, but in that moment, it's like having, you know, a microscope into the infinite there. You can see things that otherwise you would never notice at all. And this is the work of a lot of ceremonial magicians. A lot of practitioners trying to create the right, you know, atmosphere through ritual, through ceremony, to have these moments of inspiration. Okay? And so, um, when they come, take heed, right? Take heed. And now we also have the, the butterfly and you know, it's, it is, it is the self evolution. And I think, you know, there's a sense of great power here, um, which you, it's Capricorn. There's always great power in Capricorn. There is, um, the arcane power. But when we get into, um, this, this other energy, um, it is, it is the water. It is the fire. Ooh, it is the spirit that runs through that water. It is, it is, it is. And so, um, yeah, a most fortunate time. A most fortunate time. All right, T, we're going to do these affirmation cards. Let's take a look-see. Now we have the happier me affirmation cards and i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to flip through here and stop where it feels right and it says i am doing my best and that is enough we can grow only by accepting our current limitations Time will bring new skills, but also new limitations. And each time we will do our best with what we have. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's right. I was just reading this other card from my last reading. <laughs> it's missing a word from it. So I was just reading it over again just to make sure I didn't. And this, I'll just read it. This is from, I read it for the um, Sagittarius. And it says, I'm courageous and I stand up for myself. And it says, know your worth and don't allow others make you feel any less. Their opinions are just that, opinions. And I was like, let me just make sure once more that I didn't just um, misread that because Lord knows I misread things. I'm, I've always, um, oh my gosh, when I was in school, I really did not like reading out loud. I'm just so self-conscious about reading. I miss, you know, mispronounce things. I see a word. I don't know what the heck it is. I'm bad at sounding it out. You know, it just... I've never, I've never excelled. I'm good at comprehension. I read fine by myself. Um, and I read quite a bit, but it just, I don't know what it is. Um, I guess I'm just, I've always just been like that. I don't know. So anyways, <laughs> um, Capricorn, I want to say thank you so much for spending this time with me. It is always such an honor to be able to bring these messages to you. And if you would be so kind as to like the video, it really does help the channel so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. And... 
And I'm sorry, I'm going to sneeze again. And if you would like to leave a comment, please do. Uh, I read them all. They mean a lot. <laughs> One of the main reasons I keep doing readings is I just love getting to know you all. And so I hope you all, uh, you know, during this time before uh, the new year, it's a kind of a strange time. Um, everything feels like we should be done celebrating all of these holidays that have happened, that are happening. Um, but then we have this last big one until we go to sleep for a few months. <laughs> so anyways, uh, you know, I just, I hope everybody is safe and doing well. And, and um, if you're traveling, please, you know, be aware of your surroundings and drive safely stay off your phone while you're driving and and uh you know all of those things um and wash your hands my goodness ah oh, being sick i was hoping we would miss some of it this year we were very sick uh well not very sick we were with one thing last year but just all the germies that we get from our daughter and she's her school and you know kids these young kids, they all pass them around, bring them home. It just, uh, <laughs> I'm tired of it already. <laughs> so be mindful of that. Wash your hands. Take care of yourself. And um, I love you. And we'll talk in just a few days here. Okay, Capricorn. Goodbye.